I'm Hal Humphreys and this is your weekly briefing from PI Education and Pursuit Magazine. We're talking this month about leadership, how to stand out, how to be a leader, how to be at the top of the game as a private investigator. Um, I have a really quick story to tell you um, from personal experience. Uh, there are a number of people on social media outlets that I pay attention to. I don't spend as much time on social media as I maybe should as a business owner, but I do pay attention to certain people. Uh, and one of those people took a course from PI Education last week and didn't have entirely positive things to say about it. Now, this man is, um, He's a thought leader, he's out there, he's putting his, his expertise out for everybody to see. And what happened is, I paid attention to what he had to say. And I looked at the course and realized he was not wrong. There were some mistakes in the course. So I have taken the time to work with the team here at PI Education and work on fixing some of those issues. Here's the thing, being a leader in the industry sometimes means standing up and saying, hey, I found this, it might need to be fixed. Had he not been a leader in the industry, I might not have paid attention to what he had to say. So that's just one thing to say about leadership. Another example of leadership in the PI industry, and this is where we really enjoy uh, running Pursuit Magazine. We get to brag on investigators who are out there doing amazing work. Adam Visnick has put together several short series of videos. One is the PI Hero, where Adam interviews uh, investigators across the country and brags on them and lets them tell their story. Uh, and that's a fantastic way to, to build your reputation in the industry is to brag on other people. The other short series that Adam put together is called The Reason You Got Burned. And it's a really entertaining, well-produced set of videos talking about how you get burned on surveillance. I recommend you check them out. Adam has worked himself into a leadership position in the industry simply by putting his expertise out there and sharing it. And I think that's a really valuable thing to do. One of the things Adam shared in, in, in an article he wrote for Pursuit Magazine is a, a little story about a pottery class. Um, the teacher told one group they're going to be judged on the number of pieces of pottery they produced and they told the other group they're going to be judged on the quality of one piece. At the end of the competition, the quantity group not only had produced a metric ton of pottery, but they had been making mistakes and learning and making mistakes and learning and perfecting and perfecting. At the end of the day, they had the highest quality piece of pottery. Meanwhile, the quality group that produced one piece of pottery that was not quite honestly that good, at the end of the day, all they had was grandiose theories about perfection and a pile of dead clay. If you want to be a leader, if you want to teach people to do better investigative work, give them more work to do. The more work you do, the more mistakes you make, the better you get as an investigator. That's a really good leadership tip from Adam Bisnick. And finally, this week here at PI Education and Pursuit Magazine, editor Kim Green has put together a survey. She will be releasing the results of that survey this week in Pursuit Magazine. And it's all about um, how the pandemic affected you over the past year and what you're looking forward to going forward coming out of the pandemic. I think it's going to be really insightful and helpful for us as investigators to learn from each other um, how we're looking forward to business uh, in the next year. I'm Hal Humphreys and that's your weekly briefing from PI Education and Pursuit Magazine.